So in today's video, we're gonna do the big final reveal on the Dodge Cummins. After installing the Pierce dump bed kit and going through the woods, picking up logs, dumping them off at my house, I'm learning really quickly that this pavement princess with the pretty paint job on it is going to get absolutely destroyed. And this is what I specifically use it for. It's probably a good idea to go ahead and just bedline the entire truck using that Raptor product. So my initial thought on this one was to bedline the bottom of the truck that same blue. And then I wanted to go all the way up with a gunmetal gray but that's not what you're gonna see in this video. But after I sprayed the bottom of the truck with the bed line, I learned really quickly that it's a very, very bad idea to do the entire truck. This is a monster video. I'm literally repainting the truck a completely different color and I'm going neutral color this time. That way it's easier to touch up when I scratch stuff. But I have to say the wife is right and you guys are as well. For some of you guys that want to reference this, this is the product that I'm using. It's a bed tenable liner, and you guys can use pretty much any color you want. Simply just pick up some paint from your paint supplier and just add about three to five ounces to the bottle and just add your hardener, shake it up, and shoot it. That's it. And here is the part number. I'm sure you guys already know this. This is sort of a trend. I use this stuff. I swear by it. It's awesome stuff. So the next thing that you guys are going to see is when I'm going forward with completely bedlining the truck. Watch till the end. You may absolutely hate the paint job that I'm putting over it. You may think that the blue is so much better. All right, guys, let me go ahead and get you up to speed on what's going on. I started going crazy. I didn't turn the camera on. The passenger side, I think, is pretty much completely done as far as sanding it all down. She's looking rough, man. But all the little dings and stuff like that, I was able to fill in, as you can see here. I do want to hit it up with some 320 grit just over some of the small spots here, just to smoothen them out. Once I spray the bed liner, it's going to cover up most of that stuff anyways. I just wanted to go ahead and get rid of some of those small little dings. But I did the roof. I also did the back of the cab. It's so nice to be able to lift this thing up. It just makes things so much easier. I'm probably in it about five hours now. And here's the other side. Check it out. Basically, I just need to dole all this stuff down. After that, I'm gonna go ahead and finish up the bodywork here. Go ahead and dust it all off and then start prepping, which is by far one of the worst parts of the job for me. I hate prepping, but uh, let's go ahead and get back to it. All right, guys, we're ready to go. I'm gonna attempt to try to use the entire box so I should lay it down pretty thick on the bottom, but let's go ahead and get this started. So we have the first coat laid down. Believe it or not, I only used one bottle around the entire truck plus the bumper, but as you guys can see, it's looking really good. I'm gonna let that dry for about 10 minutes and then I'll go ahead and switch bottles out and keep going. All right guys, I'm about to pull my hair out. After I just sanded everything down and I laid that Raptor down, which by the way looks great i mean i love the texture i love the way it all turned out the color looks like a smurf to be honest with you you know since i'm already at this point which is fine i'm glad that i was able to do the bottom of the truck but i think what i'm going to do is i'm not going to bedline the entire truck after looking at it i'm just thinking that it's just it just won't look right so what i'm going to do now that i sanded everything down i sanded the entire paint job down i mean obviously it's still blue but I DA'd the entire truck and you know, it's pretty much back down to what it was. I filled in all the little dings, which I'm really glad I did because there was a ton of them. And I'm at a point right now where I think I'm probably gonna go ahead and just have to repaint it. But to be real with you guys, the blue, it just, I mean, it may look good and all on camera, but that paint job was hideous. If anybody saw this in person, like my buddy Nick was over the other day looking at it. This right here, he hasn't seen this, but he saw it when it was all shiny, glossy blue. He was looking at it up close and I was telling him how ugly the paint job looked and he totally agreed with me. My brother, when he was here, Dan, the guy that painted uh, the Wife Max, said the same exact thing. There was no helping that paint job. It was my very first time. I think this is the best move. So I thought about it. Battleship Gray, absolutely sweet color. But when I'm dumping wood, I'm gonna scratch that paint. I don't think that Battleship Gray and any other variant color other than white or black, you can really touch up easily so I was thinking about it and I was thinking let's just go white on the truck but it actually hit me I've been losing sleep over this I was looking at a ton of pictures I think the best color that I can go with on this is black even though I have everything on the bottom bed line 
I'm happy with it. I'm gonna leave it that way. I'm glad I was able to do that. It gives it a little bit extra strength on the bottom. That, in my opinion, was a great idea. I'm glad I did that. But even though it's tenable, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna go ahead and just paint the entire truck a different color. So stay tuned. I'm gonna do that right now. I'm gonna go ahead and pull all this off, prep everything. Luckily, I have you know 80% of it done already. All I gotta do is just start covering the windows. I already pulled all the door trims off, uh, the mirrors, everything. So yeah, it's, I'm gonna be about two or three hours in on prep work and then I'm gonna do a final scuff, and then after that, I'm gonna go ahead and lay down the primer. And then once I lay the primer down, uh, it's on, man. <laughs> I'm gonna throw that base color down, and then I'm gonna go ahead and clear coat over it. I'm not gonna do a bunch of video on prep work and whatever, that's boring. Let's go ahead and just get into it. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, start primering the truck and getting it ready for base. But I'm hoping that this turns out pretty sweet, but stay with me, guys. Wish me luck. I did have a bottle of this stuff left over from last time we painted the Wife Max, so this should do it just for the little stuff, but this is just primer, epoxy primer, good stuff by the way. And then I have more primer in the garage, but we're gonna go ahead and go to town. I'll get back with you guys when I'm completely done primering it, show you guys what it looks like. All right guys, I am done with primer. I'm gonna go get some fresh air, but wow. <laughs> So anyways, let me show you what I got going on here. So as you guys can tell, we're all done except for the inside of the wheel wells and underneath the bed in the front up here. I gotta touch all this stuff up, man. I do wanna speed this video up, but I'm just gonna get right to the point. The primer is completely done. I'm letting it dry right now. As a matter of fact, the hardest thing about this job right now is just keeping the dust off the top of the roof and on top of the hood. It looks so good. It looks so good, man. The body work, I mean, I'm not saying it's perfect. Some of you painters already know this, but some of the dings that I think I got done right, once you actually lay down the base and then the clear, you're gonna start seeing little dimples and stuff. I mean, if there is, I'm not perfect. I'm not, this isn't my profession or anything like this. This is my second time doing this by myself. I would say my, the other time I helped my brother and Dan paint the wife, Max. But hopefully I can do a better job this time than last time. So that's kind of the deal. So I'm gonna go ahead and start mixing the base color and I'm gonna go ahead and spray it over. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and spray the inside first. I'm going to finish that up off camera. But I'm going to spray the insides of the wheel wells underneath the bed because it's still blue. I was contemplating leaving it, but it wouldn't make any sense. It wouldn't match anything on the truck. Unless I put like a blue pinstripe going across the truck, which actually might be kind of cool, but I'm not going to do that. And the biggest reason why I'm using this base color is because it's going to be so much easier to touch up once I'm completely done. But enough with that. I'm getting kind of high in here. I'm going to go ahead and let it dry. I'm going to go ahead and clean it down again. But she's in the drying stage right now. I'm going to wait a little bit and throw the second coat down. And then after that, I'll go ahead and clear it and I'll get back with you guys. But unfortunately, I'm not gonna be able to finish this job until tomorrow. So I'm gonna have to cut this video off. Well, it's the very next day. I went ahead and let the paint dry and then I kind of touched it up this morning a little bit in some of the spots that I missed, but it looks really good. It sucks because I wanna go gloss black on it, but it looks so sweet matte black. But I gotta shoot the clear over it. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. And then we'll go ahead and get back with you. But hopefully after this, we should be done. And then I should be able to put the wheels. Well, actually I'm thinking about putting the Chrome wheels on it just for the video. Because with the Chrome Boost Auto Parts mirrors in the fourth gen bumper, that's all Chrome. It's gonna really tie in. Of course, when I start moving this truck to dump more wood, I'm gonna be putting these wheels back on it. I don't know if I have enough time in this video, but I'm gonna go ahead and tint the windows. I'm really thinking about it. I don't know yet, but I've got about four or five days yet on this project. But anyways, let's go ahead and get back to work. Hey guys, we're back. It's the next morning. As you guys can see, the truck is completely dry. The dust nibs got us though. This morning when I walked in the garage, it's dust nib city all over there. <laughs> it looked good after I painted it, but once this dust settled, it, man, I was hoping that wouldn't happen. But it's okay, because I'm gonna wet sand it all down. Not in this video, that's gonna take me forever. But for right now, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and put all the trim back on, the mirrors, just get everything together, take all the paper off and all that pull it outside and show you guys what it looks like i am so happy um some of you guys love the blue truck but i'm really loving the black truck but more importantly way easier to maintain that was the whole goal on this 
Here is the bed line right there, the Raptor bed liner. Looking nice and rugged, I love it. Let's see what these wheels look like with the black. Woo, it looks pretty sharp. Let's put the big chrome wheels on it and see what the difference is. And let me know what you guys think. What's the best look? It is dark outside. I'm gonna go ahead and put the chrome wheels on it just for the video. I think it'll really do it some justice. Although those look pretty sweet. You guys probably say you like the blue, but I don't. I'm telling you, man, this is it right here. This is my style. I love it, man. It's either this, white, or of course red, but red's more of a showy look. This is more rugged. It looks more like, you know, a working man truck with two turbos. All right, let's keep moving. I'm gonna go ahead and put those wheels on and pull it outside for you. All right, guys, check it out. Let me know in the comments what you think. I personally think it was a perfect choice to go with black instead of just keeping the blue. And I'm so glad I didn't bedline that truck because I would have ruined this entire project. But like I said, I have to wet sand the truck because it's really bad. I mean, if you get really, really close, maybe I'm nitpicking, but you guys can see all of that. I went a little heavy on the clear coat but I'm glad I did that. If I scratch the truck, I can easily fix it because this truck is going in the woods. I'm going to be putting logs in the bed, but I'm so happy, man. This is really cool. This is the second time that I've done this paint job and I'm actually getting better at it. So I'm, I'm kind of understanding what to look for. Here's the bumper right there. Nice and rugged texture. I love it. Matter of fact, I didn't tape it very good because you could see some of the blue right there. I'll touch that up, not a huge deal. I did just install a smoked third brake light, which looks really cool. And I didn't get crazy with the tail lights. I actually just purchased some smoked tail lights brand new, you know, just to clean it up a little bit. And I know I talked about this in the video, but these are the Boost Auto Parts Retrofit. I can't remember what gen these come off of, but they're a direct plug and play and they have the switchbacks. These are really, really awesome. And they also have defrost on them. So it kind of gives me that sort of new school feel and look. Another thing, I put one of these sweet bullet 50 cal antennas. That's kind of a nice little touch. But after this project, I'm gonna go ahead and just move forward and go ham on the wife Max, start putting her together because the engine should be here pretty soon. It was funny, I was talking to the wife and she said that the viewers are probably gonna say that they like the blue better. Why did you change it? But you know what? I'm glad that all this worked out. Initially, my thought, Raptor line it, completely bed line the truck so I don't have any worries. The bottom of this does not look cheap, but if I was to do the whole truck, I think it would look really, really cheesy and cheap. But guys, do me a solid and hit the like button for me if you enjoyed the content. I have so many hours and so many days in this project. Also, if you guys enjoyed the content, make sure you guys subscribe. Also, if you guys are interested, definitely check out the website, truckmasterdiesel.com. I left that link in the description. If you guys want to pick up a hoodie, a t-shirt, key tag, diesel parts, lift pump, so on and so forth. But that is it for this very tiresome video. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one. Stay tuned.